This video is an overview of some of the most interesting and complicated software out there. It took me four months to research all of these, as you will not get a simple straightforward explanation for most of these software anywhere on the internet, including Autodesk's own website. If you go out in a city anywhere in the world and look around, there is a good chance that most of the things you see are in some way touched by Autodesk. We are talking about literally everything you see, from roads, buildings, bridges, and vehicles, to even the underground pipelines, the landscape, and the city layout itself. Autodesk's 3D modeling software is used in everything from design, to manufacturing, to simulation, to construction, to even demolition. This is what makes Autodesk the indisputable king of the 3D modeling industry with over 100 products. Now, I'm making this video because many people challenged me to do so in the comments section of my viral Adobe video, saying Autodesk's products are even more confusing than Adobe. So let's start with their most famous product, AutoCAD, which is the world's first CAD software for personal computers. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design, which as its name suggests is the use of computers in drawing the plans of the things you want to build so that you can easily visualize it before actually building it. Before the era of CAD, engineers and designers had to draw all their plans on paper, which was both time-consuming and error-prone. AutoCAD not only made this process easier, but it also made it possible to make highly complex things which were earlier impossible. AutoCAD was originally built in the 1970s, making it even older than Microsoft Windows. Within a few years, it became the most used CAD software in the world, a position it still holds today. AutoCAD is used for a variety of purposes, but it is most widely used in the construction industry, for everything from drawing layout plans, to photorealistic 3D modeling, to managing construction costs, to forecasting of project outcomes. From its meager origins as a 2D design software, over the years AutoCAD has gone through 34 major versions, each bringing in many new features, and today AutoCAD stands as the foundation for numerous other industry-specific tools, like AutoCAD Architecture for architectural works, AutoCAD Advanced Steel for designing steel structures, AutoCAD Mech for designing mechanical parts, and AutoCAD Electrical for wiring and circuit design. Then there is AutoCAD MEP, which combines mechanical, electrical, and plumbing into one software to make it easy to design buildings. There is also AutoCAD piping and instrumentation diagrams, which is used to design complicated piping layouts for huge factories. And finally, we have AutoCAD Maps 3D, which is used to bring maps into AutoCAD for planning and analysis. That's all for AutoCAD, and now let's move on to our next software, Maya which is a 3D computer graphics application used for making visual effects and 3D assets in video games and animated films. It uses natural laws of physics to control the behavior of its models to create hyper-realistic 3D effects. Maya is so good that it was used in every film that won Oscar for the best visual effects since 1997. Next is 3ds Max, which is a computer graphics program used for creating 3D models, animations, and photorealistic images. It is powerful enough to handle almost all stages of animation, hence making it a favorite among game designers, architects, and VFX artists. Computer graphics-heavy movies like Avatar, Bahubali, 2012, Transformers, and Planet of the Apes have used 3ds Max extensively during their development. You might find it similar to Maya, but the key difference is that Maya is a better animation tool, whereas 3ds Max is a better texturing and modeling tool. Next we have Fusion 360, which is a cloud-based platform that can do everything in one place from creating 3D designs, to prototyping products, to collaborating and even running simulations. Then there is Mudbox, which is basically a digital version of clay modeling that can create finer details, giving it more of a hand-sculpted feel, which is difficult to do in a standard 3D modeling software like 3ds Max. It was originally created while making Lord of the Rings movie for creating hyper-realistic models, and later it was used as a full product for the first time in King Kong. And speaking of movies, we have Arnold, which is a rendering software used by big film studios for creating realistic shadows, reflections, and lighting effects by mimicking the way light bounces off objects using advanced ray tracing algorithms. Some of the notable films that have used Arnold include Thor, Captain America, X-Men, Avengers, Pacific Rim, and Gravity. Next is Revit, which is used specifically for architectural designing of entire buildings in 3D, with tools to plan and track various stages in the building's life cycle, from concept to construction, and later maintenance and or demolition. 
Revit stands for Revise Instantly, as its biggest feature is its ease of making changes. It is such a powerful software that the One World Trade Center, which is the sixth tallest building in the world, was designed using Revit. Then we have Naviswork, which is a project review software that combines 3D models of structure, design, plumbing, and ventilation together into a single model so that one can navigate around the model and review it in real time. It may sound similar to Revit, but Navisworks itself is not a 3D modeling program, but a project review software that works in conjunction with Revit. Next is Inventor, which is basically the AutoCAD for mechanical engineers. It is used for creating visual prototypes and then simulating the functionality of the product before it is built. Now for building things, we have PowerMill, which is a software used to program the toolhead of CNC machines to move in a certain way to manufacture parts for every industry that requires precision cutting, like for making components of cars, planes, and ships. Then there is Tinkercad, which is a free entry-level 3D design software that is simple enough to run on a web browser and helps beginners to create their own 3D models from scratch. Next we have Autodesk Formit Pro, which is mainly used by architects to quickly sketch up their design concepts to get a rough idea of the project, even before the designing phase. Then there is Autodesk InfraWorks, which is a powerful tool that allows you to literally pick your project site from the map and build a 3D model of the proposed project on that very spot. It is used for creating stunning proposals for building large projects like highways and townships and then simulating it under various conditions like floods and vehicular movements. Next is Autodesk Dynamo Studio, which is a visual programming tool for architects that helps them automate repetitive tasks to make complicated designs without typing code. Next is Autodesk Vehicle Tracking, which is used to simulate vehicle movement so that engineers can efficiently design elements like roundabouts, flyovers, and parking lots. It is also used to simulate movements of trains and planes to design airport taxiways and railway tracks efficiently. Talking about vehicles, we have Autodesk VRED Professional, which is a visualization tool specifically made for automotive designers to create high-end photorealistic visual prototypes of vehicles. To make things more interesting, VRED now supports virtual reality as well, allowing you to design and showcase the prototypes in virtual reality. Then there is Fusion Lifecycle, which is a software used by product managers to oversee large projects by building all the project-related data like bill of materials and status of various teams under one umbrella. And for data management, we have Autodesk Vault, which is a collaboration tool that helps design teams to track the work in progress and maintain version control so that large teams can work together efficiently. Then there is Sketchbook Pro, which is a drawing tool used by artists for rough sketching and freehand drawing. Next is Alias, which is an automobile concept design software used to create high-quality exterior designs of cars. It is more of a styling-oriented program and does not cover the mechanical detail like other CAD programs. Next is Autodesk Computational Fluid Dynamics, which is used in wind tunnel testing of cars, planes, and buildings by simulating fluid flow and heat exchange of various materials. Then we have Fabrication, which is a set of software used by contractors to efficiently design, estimate, and fabricate various mechanical, electrical, and plumbing solutions for buildings. Then there is Autodesk Point Layout, which is used to give design data to these machines that you may have seen at construction sites. This helps in accurate measurement and implementation of planned design in complex projects. Next is Autodesk BIM360, which is used to coordinate large project teams within a cloud-based platform. Any project member can upload models, detect clashes, and resolve issues in real time, and each member only gets the information he needs, hence simplifying BIM project workflows. Then there is Recap Pro, which uses photographs and laser scans to create high-quality 3D models, thus allowing users to replicate real-world conditions that can then be imported into a multitude of Autodesk products. Next is FeatureCam, which is an automation software used to provide a single interface to program all your CNC machines such that any design modifications are transferred to all machines intelligently. Next is Assemble, which is an easy-to-use software specifically made for construction managers without a CAD background to go through inventory details, quantities, and cost estimates. Then there is Civil 3D, which is basically AutoCAD that has been heavily modified for civil engineers and is used for designing of large infrastructure projects. It has specific tools to create all kinds of complex designs from highways to junctions to railway lines. 
Next is Helios Composite, which is a software that allows users to simulate the material behavior of various components, allowing engineers to choose the right materials while creating prototypes. Talking about simulations, we have Moldflow, which is a plastic molding simulation software used to see how changes to materials, geometry, and wall thickness can affect the manufacturability of plastic products, hence avoiding potential defects. Then there is NetFab, which is a 3D printing software that prepares, optimizes, and validates your designs to reduce build errors before 3D printing. Next is Smoke, which is a video editing software similar to Premiere Pro. And for adding VFX, we have Flame, which is a compositing and visual effects software. Then we have Character Generator, which is an easy-to-use online tool used to generate fully customized 3D characters for animation purposes. And for animating it, we have Motion Builder, which is used to animate 3D character models using motion capture to create realistic movements. Next is HSM Works, which is an extension for Inventor, SolidWorks, and Fusion 360 to create CNC toolpaths without switching to specific CNC software. Next is Factory Design Utilities, which helps you to plan and validate factory layouts for the most efficient equipment placement to maximize production performance. Next is Shotgun, which is a project tracking and management software used by media and entertainment studios that bring various projects, artists, and production teams under one roof. Then there is A360, which exists because there are over 50 CAD formats, and thus it became difficult to view the files without installing each software. So Autodesk made A360, which allows you to upload and view any file you have, no matter if you have that software or not. Many of these software have light versions, which are the stripped down variants at lower prices, and also mobile apps that extend the features of their desktop counterparts. They also have a wide range of add-ons, plugins, and extensions in the Autodesk app, which gives the flexibility to tailor these tools to each project's unique needs. That's all for today, and if you enjoyed watching this video and want more such videos, consider subscribing to this channel.